And if you can close your books in five, four, put them on the edge of your desk in three, edge of your desk in two, one, and zero. You have a handout on your desk, Jerry. Please take 10 seconds to write your name on it, to claim it as yours, and then your clothes get started. So I'm still waiting on two books to be closed right here. Thank you very much. I see Dawn is writing her name on her paper, so she is ready to rock and roll today. And I see my new table is ready. I see Antonio is ready. All right. Good morning, Oregon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, if you look at the top of your paper or on the board, our objective is students will be able to find the best evidence to support conclusions in nonfiction texts. We're going to be reviewing this today because this was one of our biggest areas of growth on that practice SBAC test that we took last week. Okay, it's also one of the most important standards for you to know for the SBAC because it comes up a lot. A lot of the questions ask you, what's the best evidence to support your answer to part A? And we need to make sure that we are getting those correct. Capiche? Capiche, go. Okay, so we're gonna set a goal really quickly. Please write in the numbers I write in on your paper. Our percent mastery for this standard, finding evidence on that practice SPAC, was a 30%. Please write that in. 30%. I see my U tables with me, my year is with me, great. Kenny has already gotten it done. Now on the SPAC, our goal is to reach 70% mastery on each standard so we can make sure we pass. So go ahead and write in 70 as our goal score. What is our goal score today? 70. So as we work today, we're going to go through a quick mini lesson, then we're gonna get a pulse check with an entrance ticket to see where we are, then we're going to do some more practice and end with an exit ticket. And our goal today is to see how close we can get to this 70%. Are you guys ready to see if we can get, get there? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so on your page, there are two vocabulary words that you will need to know to be successful in today's lesson. Please write down exactly what I write on your paper. The first word is conclusion. Say it with me. Conclusion. Conclusion is just a statement based on facts or details in a text. A conclusion is a statement based on facts or details in a text. The second word you need to know today is evidence. Say it with me. Evidence. Evidence is just details from the text that prove a conclusion. So when we think about finding the best evidence today, it needs to prove the conclusion made in the answer or in the statement. Okay, so we are trying to find the best evidence, evidence that proves the conclusion. To do this, there are three steps we are going to take today. Where it says to find the correct evidence. Jerry, can you read us the first step we are going to take today? Make sure you understand the conclusion that has been drawn. You state it in your own words. Okay, before I can find best evidence for a conclusion, I need to make sure I understand what the conclusion is. What are they asking me to support? The second step I'm going to take today, Avery, is what? Look for keywords or phrases that support the conclusion. Okay, I want you to underline keywords or phrases today because that's what we're really going to be focusing on. We're going to be focused on trying to find key words or phrases to support a conclusion. And then the third step I'm going to take today, Antonio, go ahead. Actually, what details would have helped help a reader come to 
this conclusion? What details prove it's true? Okay, so again, I'm trying to prove that this conclusion is true by finding the best details. And I see Amir is underlining that, making his paper look exactly like mine. Great. So now, I'm going to show you exactly how I would approach these types of questions if I was taking the SBAC. I'm going to walk you through my thinking today, and I want you to make sure your paper looks exactly like mine, because this is going to be your model to go back to if you need help throughout the lesson. Capiche? Capiche Club. All right. So make sure you have your writing utensil ready, and here we go. Read along with me if I pause, say the next word, please. So it says, the question, select the three sentences from the text that best support the conclusion that Boy Scout Troop 500 had adult supervision on the trip. Okay, so if I read this on a test, I'm first going to circle words that popped out to me. This was an interesting question because this is new to me. It's asking me to select three sentences today, which I know now that I need to choose three answer choices in order to get this one correct. Now, I was so worried about that word three because that was new that I didn't really understand what the conclusion was. So I'm going to go back and read it again. So select the three sentences from the text that best support the conclusion that Boy Scout Troop 500 had adult supervision on the trip. I'm going to underline this part because this is the conclusion they want me to prove. Boy Scout Troop 500 had adult supervision on the trip. Now, I'm going to just rewrite this in my own words so I really make sure I understand what conclusion this is. By adult supervision, they're probably asking me, how do I know the boys had chaperones or help from adults. Go ahead and write that in. So when I see those words adult supervision, I think to myself, oh, it's want me, it wants me to prove how I know that there were adults or chaperones on this trip. So I see Zion is writing that on this paper. Yeah, here and Kevin have it down. Excellent work. Antonio and Ann and Brianna have it down. My new table has it down. Great. So now I know what the conclusion is. I'm going to go back and see which of these choices best prove that an adult was with them. And I'm going to look for those keywords adult, supervision, chaperone, to see if I can find it. So let's read through these choices together. Can I get a volunteer to read A for me, please? Loud and proud. And go ahead. Well, so particularly, my folks might be able to produce a nice letter from the bill of a well done. That is all that will be on the knowledge of the average voice club. Okay, this one is talking about making a sweater out of a wild animal. Do you see those keywords adult? Because I don't. Do you guys see that keyword adult? No. 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 So I know if I'm looking for evidence to support adult supervision, this probably is not the best answer. So I'm going to cross it out and move on. So B says, but the others, food and shelter, are easy enough to find in the natural world around you. With a little help from a trusted adult, train for such scenarios. Ooh, yes. I see a key word. Trusted adult. Okay, if I'm trying to find out why they had adult supervision, well look, it was right there. They had a trusted adult to help them find food and build shelter. <coughs> so I think this is definitely an answer and I'm going to put a star next to it. But I know I'm not done because it told me to find three answer choices. So let's keep going. C says, even though they had brought some tins, the guys tested themselves by constructing emergency shelters with only tarp and rope. Okay, that's true, but it doesn't really talk about how adults help them. So I know that that's probably not the answer, and I'm going to cross it out. And I see my U table still following along. Excellent work. So now D says, Troop 500 did have such an expert nearby when it went camping in Iowa last year. So this one's interesting. 
Because I see this keyword expert, and I have to make an inference that if they're camping as a Boy Scout troop, the expert is probably an adult or their leader who's showing them how to camp or um, do what they need to do. So I think this may be an answer, and I'm going to keep going. E says, your parents probably call it a week. So I see parents who are adults, but I'm not really sure where they're going with this, and it doesn't really show how the adults help them. So I think I'm going to put a question mark next to this and see if there's a better answer. Let me finish, then I'll answer questions, okay? And then F says, but the boys only ate the berries because they had experts on hand. Yes. Ooh. So they knew that they could eat the berries in the wild because they had an expert that said, hey, it's okay, it's safe. And that expert was probably a what? An adult. An adult. Because without the adult, they wouldn't have known it was safe. So I found my three best answers with those keywords, adults and experts. And I read very carefully to find these answers. Please turn and tell your neighbor why these are the three best Responses to support the conclusion that they have adult supervision on the trip. We're going to talk for one minute. <laughs> All right, let's bring it back in three, two, one, and zero. Now, it's time to just get a pulse check. You have an example here. You saw how I went through and found those keywords that prove the conclusion. And now I want to see where you are on your own. So we're actually going to do an entrance ticket today. Your job is you will have 10 minutes on Illuminate to find the entrance ticket for RI 7.1 and use these same steps of looking for keywords and writing the conclusion in your own words so you understand it. When you finish, you may close your computers again and open your gear book and assign yourself until everyone is done. Okay, so I should see your computer open. I should see you silently, Liesia, logging in to Illuminate. And let's see if we can beat this 30% today. 10 minutes on the clock. And Kevin just asked a great question. Remember the steps are on the front page. You have an example, so use those if you get stuck. See, Kenny has already gotten started. See, Taryn is getting started.
seen most of us have number one down. Pacing yourselves, you have about seven more minutes to finish up. Seven minutes. Thank you. 
still working.
going to do first is read this article together, and we are going to show and undermine any specific details. Okay? So I'm going to start by reading the first paragraph, and then you'll be reading some paragraphs on their own as well. So the title of this, can you give me the title of this article? Looking for the Loch Ness Monster. Have you guys ever heard of the Loch Ness Monster? If you can press refresh, it should say classwork. Alright, so eyes on your text, let's read paragraph one together. Here we go. The word lock is a Scottish Gaelic word for lake. And there are a whole lot of locks in Scotland, more than 500 of them. Loch Ness is the Scottish Highlands, is number one in the world. The reason for its fame is not its great size or beauty. People know the name of Loch Ness because it is said to be the home of a mysterious giant creature known as the Loch Ness Monster. Whether the creature really exists or not has been a matter of great debate for decades. So if you were chunking this paragraph, what would you write just on the side of your paper? Yes. Yep, people believe there's a monster named Loch or Nessie, the Loch Ness monster, in Scotland. Good job. Make sure you get that chunk. Excellent. I see Johnny and Denise are chunking. Antonio and Zion are working independently and working well. Kennedy's working really hard back there. Great work outside circle. Alright, and can you read us paragraph two?
everyone is done with at least with the two now. So let's go back. The answer was A, so we have 100% next to you all. Kenny, what keywords in A helped you know what's the answer? So that part where it says it's 755 feet deep, well, if we know it's that deep, we know a monster probably could fit, okay? So, do you see how those keywords help you identify that right answer? So when we go into an exit ticket right now, I want you to make sure that you're reading carefully and looking for those keywords because that's the biggest and best way to find the best evidence, okay? Quickly check with all your neighbors so I know you know what you're going to look for before we start our exercise. All right, let's bring it quickly back together if you're in my outside circle or my inside circle here. Uh, we are going to now move on to our exit ticket. So wherever you are, we had a chance to practice either on our own or with me. And now let's see if we can put this practice into place and beat a 55%. My one recommendation to you on the exit ticket is to read the questions first so you can focus your reading. What are you going to read first? The question first. Okay, so you have about 11 minutes to work on this exit ticket. Please use the steps, read carefully, look for those key words to help you find the best evidence. And we'll see if we can beat this 55%. <laughs> Thank you. 
give you a quick hint. He says, which group of sentences best supports the conclusion that robotic pets will soon be marketed and sold to the public? So you're going to try to find the answer that shows them soon be on the market and sold to the public sold in stores. So you're looking for those keywords. We're down to about seven minutes. Seven minutes, guys. Make sure you're focused. She also got 100%. High five for that. Wait, high five. Don't make it in. Thanks.
where we are so far. We're looking great. Let's see if we can keep that green. Yeah. <laughs> 